Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to do a quick review on this game. So, um, normally how my style of reviews is to do videos, um, clip them, you know, put them together and then talk about them on top of them. This one, I can do it a bit differently because of the way the game is set out. So we're going to be talking about this one. Um, this, I played this for a few days. I've been streaming on my other channel, guys. I'll continue to be streaming on my other channel for oh, probably another week or two, a bit longer. Depends how far we get into it. Um, here's the thing, guys. We've got two maps. We've got one for stream, streaming, which is much bigger than this one. I'll show that at the end. But this is the one I'll be working on, guys. You can see I've got cities there, and I've got a great works there, which I haven't bothered to do. So let's go over here. So let's go in here. So each, there's a different amount of region. So every region has a amount of stuff. So this one's got three what, city spots, and a great work. Um, if you create a new one, it'll give you many options. I tell you how many cities there is, like three cities. This is the one I was using. You got this one, we've got five cities and one great work. Um, this one's got seven cities. I so on. It goes up to 16, I think, the most you can get at one time. I'm trying to find there it is. 16 with four um, great work. So I think that's the one I'm doing for my stream or something very similar. So I like that idea, but the thing, one of the things that I will talk about right now, the thing I hate the most. Is I'll go into one of these, I'll go into clear land because I'll make you understand what I hate. So this is a real down downgrade guys, this is not helpful at all. But once it loads up I'll explain what it is. So the big issue I have guys, as you probably can tell from the get-go, um, is the size of the map. So the map is quite tiny, it's not big. Um, it's quite small actually. If I was playing this at full speed guys, like properly, Without any um, wasn't dawdling or mucking around and seeing what I'm building or that, I could probably do this in about 20, 30, maybe an hour tops. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that my gripe about it is it's so small. Um, definitely, I don't think it's as good as personally as um, Some City Four. I think Some City Four had a bit of an advantage because one thing Some City Four had for it, guys, is one it had three map types, and it was considered one giant map with little squares of cities so they had like three zones like small which small would have been about yeah this size maybe about, maybe bigger a little bit not be by much and then they had a medium one which is about four times the size and then you probably got then you got the large one which is probably about eight times the size as you can see guys it's really small it's really hard to think so if you're trying to do things like the great city works you're gonna have to go to review um review sorry regional um, you gotta find it because sometimes this game doesn't always put it in the most logical spot. Click on it. Now it has um, like these three things, four things. I never really did them because I didn't find them interesting. Um, the easiest one is probably this one because the requirement is so ridiculously low, 58,000 residents. But theoretically guys, if I put the city to like committed, I probably could get 60,000 in that one easily. Um, this one's another one which you, but requires a bit more university. Um, each region, guys, can communicate with each other. So you can trade this city to that city and that city to that city. So you can put like, you can make one that's got more power plants than another and buy it and things like that. But that does have a few advantages over some C4 because I didn't have it like that. It wasn't, I mean, actually, no, I think it did have that as long as it's right next to your city. Sorry, I think I was wrong there. Man, I've forgotten. That's embarrassing. Um, but yeah, this one, like I said, they all have different requirements. You know, you can see this one requires a certain amount of material. Also, it requires an uh, airport in the region and 100 tourists arrive. Yeah, so that shouldn't be too complicated to do either. And the solar panel one, which is, you need just education, guys. Strong education. So you can figure a map. So you could say, um, let's say, let's say this one's going to be my population one. I could say this one over here, if I can get the angle right, could be my big city. Let's load it up. At least one thing, guys, this, it loads fast. It's a relatively quick loader, probably because the game computer's running an SSD. Now, you can see this one's running pretty well. It's not perfect city by no shape. As I said, I had to dawdle on this because if I build it too fast, I'll get it all confused and all that. But for example, if I want to do this one, this one, I think I was doing a culture city. So that's not really going to help us up too much. So culture will be uh, focusing on the this, pretty much anything with this, airports, uh, things like that. I'll probably do culture slash education, because I think education will be a big one to hit too. 
As you can see guys, I still haven't beaten this, done this 100% because simple fact is, if I did this work 100% guys, if I just built the whole city, you know, smashed it down, or done most of it, I'm going to run out of room, I'm not going to be able to put the police stations, power stations, um, I'm not going to be able to get my special relation, um, city special relations going. Yeah, it's a bad idea to rush it. Um, it's not like some C4 or some C3 powers or any of some cities where you can just say, okay, I know what I want to do. This here, that there, do, 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 done. This one requires a bit more thinking. Well, at least I think it does. I mean, to me, it's a thinking game, guys. But as I said, the, there's so much to do in here. Like, you go in here and you've got all these resources. Some of these things are a bit annoying. For example, you'll need the um, town hall to build certain add-ons to these places. So for example, uh, these are already built. That's why it's got the little, that little icon there. It's telling me I've built it in another city within this re region. So the only one I haven't built are these two. Um, as you can see, once I built them, I'll get more fans police stations. And I'll be, and this one gives me more control of my financial system. So, what that'll do, guys, the uh, financial one will basically allow me to tax the wealth of each um, one. So the the wealth of the residents, commercials, industrials. Um, surprisingly, industrials give me a lot of money. Commercials give me jack shit, but it's not that many here anyway. Um, but yeah, every, each one gives you extra advantages. So what, this one, for example. Gives you the ability to allow um, train stations, buses, airports, ferry docks, so much, things like that. This one gives me pants, buildings, which is fine. I mean, this one's okay. I don't have an issue here. This one makes sense, more fancy stuff. The issue I have with this one is um, some of the stuff here you should be able to get straight away. The buses you should be able to get away. Um, train stations should be able to get away. The street cars, which you do get straight away. You should be able to get them straight away. The only ones that really it should lock is like ferries, anything to do with boats, um, airports, and and I think there's another one where you do a blimp. Other than that, that's all it should lock. It shouldn't lock the trains. That's really, I think that's a bad idea. As I said, this one basically allows you to build um, landmarks, pro stadiums, and large parks. Um, this one's fine because if it's built, this one's okay. It's not unrealistic i mean it could be worse but I'll, I'll show you exactly what that unlocks when we'll get to it um the next one is safety so this one makes more sense as i said before so basically it gives you larger hospitals larger fire department and large police percent that's it that's that makes more sense to me i mean because you got the small you got the police station to begin with as i said i will explain it when i go through it and this one it's the one with the uh, fancy, um, you know, um, taxes and shit, which I already explained. And this one basically gives you like high schools, um, high, what's it, high schools and more fancy stuff. Um, I personally think high schools should not be required. I think high schools, anything like universities and colleges should be the ones they lock because they'll just make, they'll make it more right. But I don't think they should lock high school. That's my opinion. So let's get out of this part. I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. Now we've got money coming in, guys. I've got lots of money because I'm not building extremely. I've got like a whole area right here. So I can put police stations, fire stations, and all that kind of good stuff in the middle. This was my main city over here, which is usually how I play it. And I've got more over here, which this is the later part. And the industrial's a bit over here. Now, one rule you should always obey when you play some city. Now, this one's probably not the best of what I'm going to say. Normally, the best thing to do, guys, is put the industrials on the side. So let's say, I should put them like over here or something, away from the city. Also away from the water. Um, I don't think it's a good, a, a smart idea on my part to put it over there. But I didn't want to have to muck around the um, road, so I, I just done it that way. Probably not my best idea, guys, so. Follow what I say, not what I do. Now, for example, I was talking about before, you know, we've got all these power plants. Um, I really start off with pretty much all these. Um, so some areas have got more like, wind power, which is great. Some areas you'll start to have coal deposits, which can be useful power plants. Same with oil. Um, solar, you can, I think there is more sun in the certain areas, I think. Nuclear is a bit different. It doesn't have a requirement other than intelligence. 
means the city's got to be well educated. And these two, I don't even know. I don't think I've even built. I don't even know what I need for. Uh, camion and research. Okay, so that's something I have not done. But I want to do these type of things in the stream, guys. When I start doing the stream, get back into the streams tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll be doing these fancy stuff. I just want to go through them bit by bit. Um, try to quick them, not too quickly. I just want to go through the things. I think it's okay. But how this is, it's fine. It's no problem. Now this one's good because what happens is when you um. Do the utilities, you get this as a unlock. Them two you still can, you have from the start. So these two are fine, I mean they're good for beginning and that stuff. And that's better for later on as you can see it costs a lot more money than 6,000 and three and a half. This is 644,000. That's fine, that's how it works. And this one works exactly the same. Except for this one, this one's got a, um, a fence thing which I haven't unlocked. This one's got the, the um, yeah, my house which I have not built. I guess I'm living on the streets or maybe in the town hall. I've got this one, which I haven't locked. Um, yeah, so I've got to do that. I have a population of 40,000. Um, that's fine, guys. I don't care about that. This one's a bit more. Yeah, so this one's got. This is the one you start with, and these two you unlock later in the game. That's from the utility, uh, utilities one. So and I don't know what that's from. Yeah, so that one's some more cleaner stuff. So that's something further down the track, which I would love to do. On my stream guys when we get there um this one's for example so this one i don't have a department of safety in the area so it's locked but yeah but i do when i do get it i put the building in or the add-on in. it's not really a new building but an add-on to that building that'll be unlocked and i'll be able to use the same with this one this one has the same thing and the police so um the police has this all these have police stations um i should really yeah so this one's good that one's terrible because it's a bad guy. And that one's just a fancy police station at like that. So it's a French one. Now you got the schools, which most of them I think are unlocked it for. That's a university, it doesn't look like a university. So what do I need? Um uh, 100, 1200. Okay. Okay, so I just need that with it in there. Okay, good. Um, increases. Yep, yep. Okay, so this one's a hard one to explain, but the idea, guys, what they should be doing. This one, this one, this one. And the library should be all open completely. These two should be the locked ones. Unfortunately, they do lock the high school for some unknown reason. I don't think it's a talented idea. Now, this is the one that's interesting because you've got so many options. So, buses, for example. For the most part, you can do pretty much anything with the buses. Um, the streetcars, very similar. Once you unlock this one, you put this down, that'll unlock and you'll be right. The trains are the problem, because when you don't have the um, transport one, it won't let you use these at all. Same boats, I believe. So now we've got the boats. Planes, I can build an airport anytime I want, really realistically, guys. I can build that too. I mean, and this one, which I don't have unlocked yet, but you get the idea. Um, then you just got parks, which is, there's a lot of different type of parks, like the basic parks, the sports park, then you got the sports, nature park, class and informal, so they all got, they all help you out with um, getting the buildings higher level. So yeah, that's how that works, guys. Um, I don't think there's anything else I really want to talk about. There's nothing really great about this game, it's nothing really, so when this game first came out, guys, back in 2013, there was a huge issue with it's crashing all the time. Um, the servers were not were not always working because for whatever reason they decided to make this game uh, online only at the time, and it caused a lot of issues, lot of issues. Now at the moment we're doing pretty good. The only issue I have, guys, sometimes I don't put the buildings in the roads properly, and only one side of the road area gets the development. You got to put these. I should have put that about here, and that would have got that side on. Now you could put a road just going straight down there and that would probably work as well, but yeah. The game does try to tell you how to build a road. Watch, I'll get a road out. Let's just get this one out. Uh-huh. And you can see the little roads now. So you can build like that and then it will tell you to do that and then the same thing with that one. So if you, but if you build it down this one and that one, it's too small to be a double thing. I think what the game does try to tell you is that that, road, that should be it. And then when you build the second row, you should build it a bit more on the right. 
so it fits up properly. Or if you don't not sure how to do it, you just check your house, have a look at it, and then put it in memory in there. That's probably your best bet. Um, but yeah, guys, that's all I really want to talk about. So it's nothing really what like, bad. Just a few bugs down there. The maps are a bit small. Um, I am going to down give it a small rating because I don't think it's great a great game personally. I think there's too much. There's so much you can do on it, but you don't have the map to do everything on it. So uh, yeah, so I'm I'm downgrading this down to about three and a half. It's just not enough for me to justify a four or five. If the map was a bit bigger, maybe I'll give it a five uh, four. I mean, what they could have done is just made it a little bit bigger. I mean, it didn't have to be much bigger. Double the size would have been perfect. That's my opinion. Um, but yeah. As I said, guys, I've been playing this for a few hours. So, about, oh, probably about 12 hours. So, it's not a super long game. I mean, I could have done everything and then shown them off. But I don't think there's a point to it. So, yeah, I'll probably keep this world. But I probably won't work on it that often. Now let's get back. Um, how do I get out? How do we get back? Um, the main menu... So before we finish up guys, I do want to promote my stream that I've been doing. So this is the stream one. As you can see, I've only started and I've got four areas. Now each area is going to have certain things, um, if I can find one to click on. Uh, interesting. Usually when you click on these, they tell you what they have, but they got nothing. Oh, I might, I might not do it while I'm in here. I might, if I go in creation, game creation, I might. Yeah, I think in game creation it tells you. And once I remake it, it doesn't give you much information. That's stupid. It should tell you here. So what it does, guys, is I'll go through the cities just to see how we're going. I don't know what they look like at the moment. I haven't streamed it for a few days, so I'm a bit off. But yeah, as I said, guys, I think it's a good game. Um, now, that I'm, now, I haven't built anything really big in this area, so it shouldn't be too... Okay, um, this one's huge. Okay, this one's uh, quite big. Um, looks like, yeah, you can see this one's probably one of my better cities. It looks much better than the others. Oh yeah, we're only about half the map. Yeah, half the map. So we can start configuring this a bit more. Um, once I work out what I want to do with the city, I can focus on that department. And that's what the, I think the game wants you to do. I'll focus roughly in the same department. I mean, you might be able to build one or two things at a time, but for the most part, one. So for example, I could build, this one's got coal plants is it so i can build a lot of coal plants i can also do other things i don't think it has anything else i think it's just coal so i've got this one yeah coal we've still got enough room for more buildings but other than that i don't think there's anything else yeah it's just coal so if i wanted to guys i could definitely focus on the on this department Go to mining, which is where it's under. I can't do that one, but I can definitely do that one once I put that building out. So once I put that building, I can put that building in. This gives me other ability, so I can I can input iron, for example, and use the coal to um, make other materials, which means I can sell them at a higher price. But to do that, I'll need a lot of money. So yeah, there's ideas, guys. Um, let's go to another city. And we'll finish it up. But yeah, I didn't think it was that big, to be honest. I thought it was smaller. Uh, where's the other city? There it is. A little tiny, little tiny little city. Now this one I know I haven't done much because I just started it. So you got to see the industrials are a bit bigger on this side for some unknown reason. Over here, it's okay. Uh-huh. So this one's just a starting city, as you can see. Uh-huh. I don't know what these are supposed to be importing. Now I'm not too sure what I was doing here. Oh, it's a coal here. That might be what it is. Yeah, that's coal. Is it iron? And there's a ton of iron around it too. So this one will be a really good city to make us a money city. I can build everything around this area pretty much. So I can build it about here, go up that way a little bit, around there, around there, and that's it. And a little bit over here and some over there. I could put this stuff around here. So yeah, this one I could definitely get some resources and make some money. So it be more of a training, a trade, trading metal city. But you get the idea. Um, but yeah, as I said, um, the issues with it is the small maps. I don't think it's the best 
It could give you more information with the roads department, other, you know, this type of stuff. But other than that, it's not bad. Uh, like I said, three and a half, it should be... I think it's three and a half, guys. It's not worthy. And considering it's 2024 now, it's definitely downhill because there's no... There's no more some city, I don't believe, so... Yeah, it'll be great if they make it another one, but that's up to debate. Anyway, guys, I think we'll finish it here because we have been yapping for 20 minutes, surprisingly. I usually don't make them this long. I try to keep them under 20 minutes or 20, 20, 25 minutes. Don't want to make them too long, but yeah, as I said, five, um, three and a half. Good game, but it could have been a lot much better if they just listened to the community. But anyway, on that note, guys, I'm going to finish it here. Hope you guys enjoy and cheers.